The expressways are some of the most important routes in modern transportation. Many people travel them every day, but not everybody knows how to drive safely. In this video, I will show you examples of what to do and what not to do to keep yourself and others safe on the expressway. Speeding is one of the major problems among today's highways. Imagine this scenario. You're driving down the highway, minding your own business, when some kid in his purple sports car hits you head on because he was speeding and lost control. It's like a delivery to your front door, but instead of that thing you ordered on Amazon, it's actually a car, and instead of your front door, it's actually your front end. Now you're either critically injured or dead because some idiot thought it was a good idea to speed down the highway. Let's see what this baby can do! Actually, he's going 40 miles under the limit. So move along before I run you in, tattletale. Are you sure you don't want to run him in? This is very simple to avoid. If you're not aware of the speed limit, drive 55 in the right lane until you see a speed limit sign. You can also pull over to the side of the road and check the limit on your phone. Keep your foot off the floor and turn on cruise control to stay at a nice, steady pace. Speeding is also very illegal in, well, everywhere, which can lead to lots of fines, possible loss of a license, and double the fines if you're caught in a construction zone. Ah yes, turn signals, that thing that everybody learns how to use but somehow forgets immediately after, kinda like school, except unlike school, turn signals are actually important. Turn signals are used to let other drivers know your intentions. Not everybody on the planet has the spidey sense or the force, so they don't exactly know how to predict what you're going to do before you do it. Turn signals are surprisingly easy to use, which is why I still don't understand why half the planet doesn't know how to use them. Okay, if you want to make a right turn, or go into the right lane, take this lever here and push it up. Now if you want to make a left turn, push it down. When it comes to switching lanes, this one's fairly simple. Check your mirrors, check your blind spots, and remember to use your turn. <laughs> Call from your mother? Ignore it. Tasty food in the next seat? Ignore it. Don't like the song? Oh come on, just press the button on your steering wheel, it's 2017. When it comes to distractions, the highway is especially bad because everybody thinks just because they're going straight on a big road that they can do whatever they want. Knock knock! Who's there? Reality. You see this idiot? Don't be like this idiot. If you get a call, pull over. If you need to send a text, pull over. If you want to eat that food really bad, pull over. And if you really want to change that song, buy yourself a new car and then pull over. When you're on the highway, it becomes quite obvious fairly quickly that you're not alone. It's very important to look out for other people in front of you who may be suddenly braking or using their turn signals to let you know that they're going somewhere else. While you're on the highway, you also want to check your mirrors regularly for anybody who may be coming up behind you and also be on the lookout for motorcyclists. They're hard to see, but they are there. In conclusion, just watch your speed. Use your turn signal, keep an eye out for others, and don't let yourself get distracted. And you'll do just fine on the highway. <laughs>